I yield myself, Madam Chair, such time as I may, Madam Speaker, such time as I may consume. The gentlewoman is recognized. Uh, Madam Speaker, I rise in strong support of H.R. 2258 as amended, which will allow current service members who have military experience operating commercial motor vehicles to more easily obtain a commercial driver's license. In 2015, Congress included a provision in the FAST Act to allow states to waive the written CDL knowledge test for drivers with military commercial motor vehicle driving experience but it restricts the waiver to former members of the military. There are a significant number of current reservists and members of the National Guard with military commercial motor vehicle experience who could benefit from the waiver. This legislation allows them to more easily use the skills they learn serving our country to earn a decent wage and feed their families. These servicemen and servicewomen receive from the federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, or FMCSA, describe, uh, what they describe as thorough and comprehensive training, including many hours of behind the wheel training, something that we have long advocated for uh, as a requirement for civilian drivers. There is a shortage of commercial truck drivers, and these well-trained military drivers are exactly the type of uh, individuals that would, we would want to help enter the trucking profession. Using its existing uh, exemption authority, FMCSA has already taken action to make current service members eligible for the knowledge test waiver on a temporary basis. Last October, FMCSA issued an exemption that allows states to waive the CDL knowledge test for trained military truck drivers, whether they are current members of the military or veterans. FMCSA cited the fact that training these drivers receive in the military includes, and here I am quoting FMCSA, many hours of classroom training, practical skills, knowledge, and on the road training that are essential for safe driving. However, FMCSA's temporary exemption expires. Uh, in October 2018, this bill would make permanent the ability for current members of the military to utilize the FAST Act waiver. I strongly support this uh, legislation and, earn, and, and urge its adoption. I um, reserve the balance of my time. 